Hi everyone and welcome to day five of my 40 till 40. So today I'm out on the balcony looking at the ocean. Um, I thought I'd put a little fall decor and some tea. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, today I want to talk about <clears throat> the light side again. Here we are again at the light side. And what I wanna share with you is how we can identify other streams of income, uh, side hustles, gigs, whatever you wanna call it. Many people do it in different ways. I'm gonna share with you what I do. Uh, obviously there's plenty of ways you can identify other sources of income to accelerate your fire journey. Remember, financially independent, retiring early, wealth, generational wealth and legacy. That is our goal. I've been having a word resonate today with me in different spaces at different times, and that's relational wealth. So as I shared with you on my video before, I live in my home 650 a month. And I will show you my home at some point. But I live in a two-story home, three-bedroom, beautiful neighborhood. Um, and I received this home through relational wealth. What's important is that we connect with one another, that we take care of our personal relationships. I would not have gotten this without the community that I have built, the networks and the connections that I have. And so as I share with you the different opportunities to identify other sources of income, I want you to keep that in mind because I haven't uh, received those things on my own either. I will never say I'm self-made or uh, I, I did this on my own or anything like that, homegrown, what, whatever people say, I will never take credit for that. Um, because you need people, you need people. So one way that I make my income is a job. And I spoke with you all about that as well on a previous video. So you can use your job for now to fund other things for what you're building for the future, okay? Remember, having a job puts you in unfortunately a category where you have you pay the highest taxes okay and this is why people talk about having other sources such as businesses um, investments and and these other things to maybe offset some of the taxes that uncle sam will surely come to get now you can be a high earner remember i told you about the different camps right you have people in different camps so you have high earners that can really accelerate their fire, okay? Um, you have people that may not have a high income, but you can still be on the journey to fire, okay? It might take you longer, but you can pick up other doing other things. My suggestion is not to take on things that will be too much for you because we are also taking care of ourselves, right? We're also tapping into our resiliency and reducing our trauma, reducing our footprint in the rat race, right? And so you wanna take on things that um, won't leave you so depleted uh, toward fire. Some people are so focused on the bag and getting things that they're war they can't even enjoy it. And so um, don't get into that cycle where you're not able to enjoy what you're doing um, as you're on your way there. So some people won't do the minimalist thing because they feel like sometimes that can be so restrictive, right? That they're not enjoying the journey. So you wanna really find a balance when you're going on this journey. So what I do is I work, I have a job and I use that job to um, fund other things. So my main job, I save over 80% of that income to fund other things, mostly to invest. 
I have a part-time job. Uh, I teach online and I could actually live off of teaching online. I teach for a university and I teach one class a month. Well, really it's five week uh, in, in, um, semesters, right? Or um, workshops, right? And so sometimes I might teach two at a time in a month. Um, sometimes I do one, most times I do one. But doing that one, class a month can actually fund my life here in Mexico. And so I could really, if I wanted to, save my entire full-time job uh, and invest the income from that and live off of the uh, adjunct faculty uh, money. And the great thing about that, if you can find you a job that's portable, meaning it can move with you wherever you go. So I really enjoy teaching online because wherever I go, when I'm on vacation, uh, when which I don't recommend, <laughs> but when I need to move somewhere, I can always have that income, right? And so um, I would say, you know, look into how could you do that? How could you teach online? I'm interested in the future, another stream of income I'm, I'm interested in is creating an e-course where I could be teaching online without teaching online, right? And I could be making that passive income, putting the work in on the front end and receiving the benefits on the back end. Uh, and that's, that's to come. Another thing that I want to do is be able to teach uh, here in Mexico at, a, at a, a local university. That's a, another thing that I'd, I'd like to do. Another stream of income that I have is life coaching. And so I did go and get my life coach certification, although you don't need it. If you um, have a platform, you have followers, you have presence, um, you may be able to drum up your clientele and, and life coach. Um, I went because I wanted to legitimize it, um, because I wanted to get corporate clients. I wanted to get professional clients. I wanted to be able to, as I do now, I'm connected to a university that feeds me clients. And so I don't have to go searching or market or advertise. Um, I'm already on a list. And when people come seeking life coaching, they can choose from me. And now I am doing more of the YouTube and other uh, things I do out in the community, such as panels and trainings or presentations, and people seek out my life coaching. And so uh, I do life coaching in different modalities uh, and different subjects. So I do stuff with uh, mental health, uh, resilience, uh, wellness, and of course, living in Mexico or uh, relocating to Mexico, uh, and things like that. And so that's another income stream, the life coaching. The other thing I do is I have a contract. I have a state contract. Um, I have had city contracts as well. And so you could look for those as well. You can look on uh, nonprofit organizations, uh, websites and find uh, whether they have any uh, contracting work. So I offer my services to universities, to cities, counties, uh, states, uh, where I go in and I talk about whatever your niche is. And mine is diversity, inclusion, racism, or anti-racism, equity, and uh, a plethora of other things. My dissertation work is around resiliency and trauma, and so that's obviously a big focal point. By the way, I'll be going uh, live tomorrow uh, on a platform. I'm going to maybe put it in the description. I'm gonna figure out how to do that. <laughs> and um, maybe you can register and tune in. Um, someone found me because I'm doing this YouTube, and so this is another way you can drum up uh, extra income and they are asking me to speak um, at this event on zoom and actually they'll be giving away a coaching session from me and also a uh, tour and so more exposure again relational wellness right 
And so um, maybe you'll be interested in that if you want to have a coaching session with Dr. Keisha Black and Baja, um, or you want to come and do a Mexico tour. Um, so those are really uh, the ways that I get my income. And uh, of course I have investments, but I reinvest my gains, my interest, <laughs> my dividends. I don't touch it. I just allow it to reinvest and reinvest. And I also do recurring. Um, every time I get paid, I disperse money into my accounts. And so it's continuously growing. Um, and so there are there are a plethora of ways. Um, obviously, Black and Blaha is my other thing that I do. So one leg of that is to tour people, black people of the black diaspora here in Mexico uh, for resiliency, wellness, uh, and things like that. And they kind of give uh, get a free life coaching session with Keisha as I tour you for different things. Um, the other thing I do is relocate, help people relocate themselves here. And the last thing that I do, I help people with paperwork. So get their residency uh, stuff in, in order and things like that to be able to live here uh, legitimately. Uh, so again, that's, that's all uh, generating income on different uh, platforms. And so, um, and, and I do ad hoc things. You'll find that people will contact you for things you didn't even think about doing. And uh, you can say yes or no, and, uh, and, and see if that's what you wanna do. So how do I do all of this and not lose my mind? Um, for the most part, the day job is, you know, kind of that nine to five, um, five days a week, weekends off, it's a government job. And um, after I get off of work, I, I usually work seven to 3.30. I tend to my university students might need office hours or I may need to grade papers like I'm going to do tonight. Um, and the other things I do at ad hoc when I want to do them, I schedule it around my time and things like that. Being sure to take care of myself, self-care. I just came from, I'm in my little tracksuit. I just came from working out. It's, it's so beautiful. It's a crisp fall night. Um, I'm looking at the ocean. I, I walked and um, tonight I have papers to grade and I am um, going to be going tomorrow to participate in not only that Zoom, uh, but also on uh, in, in San Diego, another opportunity to make money. I'm going to clean out my closet and see if I can get rid of some of my stuff um, at a swap meet. And so uh, there's always opportunities everywhere you look. Um, I'm sure there's some opportunities I didn't even think of that I do <laughs> um, because they're, they're everywhere. Um, but all of the things that I, I take part in, I love. I absolutely love doing them all. But I will say all of them come to me through relational wellness, okay? Taking care of my relationships. I put a, uh, on Facebook today, I put um, something in there that has a woman talking about, she's not interested in anything that's not mutually beneficial. And so you should always come to the table asking, what can I give? What can I contribute? How can I help? And I guarantee, your relational wellness will grow and those opportunities will come to you and abundance will abide, okay? And it will grow and it will grow. And so um, that's, that's how I, uh, again, set myself up for fire. I want you to think about what are some ways that I could uh, generate income, I can be creative with what you have already, your talents, what you can do, what you do well, what you enjoy doing. Um, it could be monetized and get out there and do it. Get out there and do it. Um, even if it's not perfect, start and get better. So tonight was all about how to think about, identify, and create opportunities for 
multiple streams of income obviously people again like I said they have side gigs they're in the gig economy people flip houses and real estate and things like that 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 may be your thing that may not be your thing I actually another thing I did today was I went to look at a home this is in a beachfront neighborhood and the houses there I can buy with I, my price is 50,000 I want to buy an investment pro property for 50,000 this beachfront place and I want to Airbnb it out or I don't know what I might do uh, I might start my Black and Baja ranch there where people can come and stay and, and take them on tours and and things like that who knows the sky's the limit um, but you have to find what works for you everything is not gonna be your thing um, and that's okay don't go with whatever's popular now you know Bitcoin flipping houses you know all of these things that people tell you you know you can get rich off of this you can do that you can't get rich off of anything if you don't like it you don't enjoy it you don't do it well okay so make sure it's something that you can commit to that you want to commit to um, and the goal is is not always focused on so much of getting the bag it's about relational wellness it's about loving what you do loving the life that you're creating for yourself and remember we don't have to be uh, drowning in money to be happy to be successful to be peaceful as I told you I can live here in Mexico for 15,000 or less and that's a pretty good pretty good life <laughs> um, it's not it's not a bad life um, so you may not need all of all of the money you think to retire or to leave to your your children and things like that and again with your investments and ensuring your investments and being sure to get those taxes in order before Uncle Sam eats up all of that money you're gonna make <laughs> Uh, just being savvy with all of that get your financial wellness up your financial literacy up So that you can go on this journey with me. All right, so get To that pencil and paper or to your computer and start thinking about how can I? Create these different streams so that I can work toward Doing what I want to do 